In 1991, Data East introduced Caveman Ninja, or Joe and Mac as it's also known to home console users in the US. This game was destined to be ported to the home. Its graphics and gameplay translate perfectly for systems like the NES, Mega Drive Genesis, and Amiga Computer. In the early 90s, that was the thing to do, release at the arcades and license it to the home users. I'm gonna try to make this more of a long play video. We haven't uh, done that yet. Let's see how it works out. So, this is it. Caveman Ninja, or Joe and Mac, whichever you prefer. Pretty much the same game. And we've got some interesting parallax going on in the background with the mountains uh, and the forefront moving at different speeds. And you can see it's uh, pretty straightforward. Just pretty much throw your tomahawk at anything that moves, including this giant dinosaur. Uh, all right, let's try it again. So when you're at the final stage, there's usually an egg that gives you some kind of random power up. Let's see what we got here. Ah, don't know what we call this, but uh, it's some kind of ghost shift or something. I don't know what you just throwing a illusionary Joe at, uh, at your enemy here. Works out pretty cool. This is a pretty cool power. Uh, I always appreciate when I get this one. All right. So you do your little victory stomp and uh, you get this really cute, much more evolved female cave person than yourself, obviously. And it looks like you got a little kiss on the cheek. All right, now we're gonna go to another stage. Some hieroglyphics, cave drawings. Could be cave drawings, not hieroglyphics, cave drawings on the walls there. And these graphics, they're just begging to be ported. Uh, it worked out so well. Uh, obviously, the designers at Data East had that in mind. Um, the early 90s, the, the computers and the uh, consoles at home they had the power to finally catch up with arcade games. Pretty much spelled the demise for arcade games. Uh, this is an easy way to cheat there. If you're gonna get across the board, might not jump across electrocuted. Now you can stomp on these bad guys to kill them. Now if you hold down the button, you also get a power throw or power toss. But you have to hold it down for a while, which leaves you vulnerable. I don't do very well with the holding down the button thing. Alright, so Little Shop of Horrors here. And I've got the boomerang, which is also a pretty good weapon. Now, each one of these little boomerangs does a minuscule amount of damage. If I was to hold the button down and wind up and toss it, I, I would do much more damage. Boomerang works pretty well on this guy, as long as I keep throwing him. Uh, yeah, just keep throwing those things. All right, cool. Chick number two, saved and rescued. All right, and she's gonna give me a kiss and run off to her real boyfriend. Hey, baby, wait for me. Oh, boy. So now, one of the great things about this game is at this point you have an A and B. Two different routes that you can take that go to different parts of the game, which makes, um, here's the A course, which makes it interesting for replay because you can do a different path. They eventually go to the same place, but it's um, another way of getting there. It's kind of cool. You can mix it up a little bit. This is kind of neat. The bees are annoying. If you get rid of the hive, the bees are gone, but easier said than done. So I didn't know there was Tabasco sauce in the prehistoric times. Uh, I mean, I get the fruit and the vegetables, but there's hamburgers, cans of soda pop. I don't get that. But it's a video game, so you can do anything you want in a video game. It doesn't have to make sense. So you're going to get to the top of the trees. 
where the next prehistoric chick is waiting to be rescued. Now this game can be played in co-op, where uh, I guess Mac, your blue-haired counterpart, would uh, assist you in trying to get to the girls. And it's kind of funny because uh, the girl will end up picking one of you. I think it's whoever has the better score and give him a kiss and the other fellow gets a little sad and upset. And there's a neat trick. Waste. It's now every boss has some kind of mechanism to distract you. As this one releases two of these miniature versions of himself. Um, I don't know, my, my strategy is just to throw at anything. I, I don't have a very good play strategy. Always been the case. So, if I can just get a wind up, I get these over so much faster, but can never get it in the air at the right place. They just keep coming. Alright, come on. These axes do so little damage. And I'm almost dead. Yeah! Victory is mine! Great, you've done it. I want to see how this chick gets down. Oh, oh, they're not going to show it. Okay, I see how it is. We're just down already. See, I don't look so good. I look like I'm pretty beat up here. Okay, so now, th this is really nice board. It's colorful as well. Um... You would think you can jump over that spout if you're on the top log, but you know, somehow, it, it, ah, perception, it's wrong. Again, video games, you can do whatever you want. Now these little dinos, uh, they take quite a beating. You have to throw uh, a couple of tomahawks at them, or a good wind-up or two. I think two wind-ups would do it. And of course he's gone, great. If you wind up too long and don't release, of course you, you tuck it out, which then keeps you still for even more time, which just leaves you open. I'm not a fan of that wind-up. I'm, I'm terrible at it. I'm sure that's the way you're supposed to play it. I'm sure that's the way that you uh, get past these enemies. Ah. What's a dinosaur doing on a log anyway? Can't get that. Can't get it. Okay. Now that's got to be the longest tree log ever. I forget what these fish are called. Ichiosaurus? Something like that. pretty cool. I like the way these guys look. When you hit them, their eyeballs pop out and they get a little tear in their eye. It's pretty cool. Where is he keeping all these tomahawks? He's only wearing a loincloth. And why is he using a tomahawk? Isn't the traditional weapon of choice of cavemen the club? Somebody should write a letter to Data East and let them know that. Kind of after the fact, isn't it? One more. One more. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah! Yay! Okay. Get off my log. Hi, Mom. So we're still in the same stage, actually. And uh, here's another choice for A and B. Um, choice has been made by the fish. I'm going to B. Okay. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Where were you before when I needed you? 
I had to fight a bunch of Ichiosauruses. They would have saw you, man. They would have ran or swam or whatever Ichiosauruses do. Can't get that fruit. It's too low. Oh, there it is. Okay. Whirly birds. It's kind of neat. Look, there's a hamburger. What's a hamburger doing here? And and a cake with a strawberry or something on it. Something's very very suspicious about this. Let it slide for now. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm not dying. Because I'm cheating at this point. I'm tired of dying. The game is hard, folks. And I want to show you as much as the gameplay as possible, and dying sucks. So, we're, we're cheating right now. We didn't cheat in the beginning. I died. But now we're not. Count how many times I get hit, and you, you can tell I'm gonna die, so it's kind of the same. Because I am terrible at these games. Look at that, it's a bird. Can I get off this thing? Yeah, here she is. Hey, baby. Whoa. That's a cool looking boss. Is he, is he vomiting water at me? Is that vomit? Or is he spitting? I don't know. He's got a blowhole. Okay. And he comes on both sides. Oh, now he's throwing up fish. Oh, that's a cool trick. Never get those big boomerangs off. I can't do the wind up. Real annoying. Because I know that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's what's annoying about it. Get down, get down, 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 down. Boy, oh boy, he's taking a beating. And she's going to sit there wiggling, try to break her bonds, and as soon as I kill this big behemoth, she's gonna slide right out, run over to me, oh, thank you for saving me, and take off. They all do that. And I'm not talking about the video game. Boy, oh boy. Wham, 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 wham. Come on, wham. Ooh. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. All right. Yeah, I've seen this before. I always like the differences between the stages. Now we've got sulfuric ash falling from volcanoes. And this is a really nice parallax on this board. That's cool. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Big boulders make little boulders. I guess you have to jump over those. Tectonic plates. They really nailed it. Oh, look at that. There's the Data East logo. That's cool. You do jump on them, okay. Oh. Oh, those are bad guys. Oh, A and B. Where to go next?
Okay, so we can see now. Looks like the ash has subsided. Ooh. Yeah, I, I would be dying every, every second if it wasn't for the cheats. It's a fun game to play, though. I'm having a good time playing. It's just wanting to get to the next board to see what there is to see. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> I just stood there for that. Ah. That looks like, um, yeah, Anguirus from Godzilla. But I know it's not. I, I don't know what that's, I forget what that's called. Uh, was he spiky? Did he roll up like an armadillo? I don't know. That doesn't sound like a, a real dinosaur with the rolling up thing. I know that dinosaur exists, but spikes or was it just plates? <clears throat> I just went to the museum recently and uh, looked at a bunch of dinosaur bones. That was fun. I recommend that. All right, why are we shaking? What's happened? Whoa, okay. Oh, nothing I can do here but fall and try to catch fruit. That's cool. Oh, wow, did I land on a stalactite? Ah, that's different. Now she's hanging from a stalag... Stalagmite? Stalag Wait, stalactites? Stalagmites. I forget which one is the top, which one's the bottom. Stalactites on the top, right? Stalagmites on the bottom? I have to look that one up. It's been a while. Woolly Mammoth. Woolly, woolly mammoth. Woolly, woolly mammoth. Oh, that's just freaky looking. Wow. It's like I took an eraser and just rubbed it out. It just like vanished off the floor. It's gone. He trampled his own trunk. And the tusk is gone. That's cool. His face is just falling apart. <laughs> You're not so scary now. Yeah. Look at that. That's just freaky looking. Why would those bad cave persons want to do this to all these women and tie them up on these precarious ways? I mean, what have they got it out for us for? What? They're terrible. Horrible people. The dinosaur graveyard. This is where they all go to die. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to call it quits here because uh, this can go on for quite a while. It's a lot of fun to play and I'm sure a lot of you have played it on other systems like the NES and the Sega systems, but uh, Caveman Ninja, stupid title. Joe and Mac, a little better, but a fun game nonetheless.